democratic socialism. It's not the same as socialism socialism because it's democratic, right? Or something, right? People are buying that. People buy that now, right? Apparently. As though adding the word democratic in front of a word changes what it means. Just because we toss something to a vote doesn't change what that something is, nor does it alter whether that something is inherently good or bad. Couple of examples, because I know you'll ask. Hamas was democratically elected as the government in Gaza, despite the fact that the destruction of not only Israel, but the eradication of all Jews is in their official charter. Robert Mugabe, or Bobby Mugabe if you prefer, was democratically elected by a loving majority in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, how's that working out? Venezuela? Well, Hugo Chavez, noted personal favorite and friend of Sean Penn, to whom he constantly pointed as being unfairly characterized as a dictator when in fact he was democratically elected as a socialist. Well, how'd that work out for Venezuela? Well, it's now on the brink of collapse, despite it being one of the most resource-rich nations in the entire world. Basic things like eggs, milk, flour, and toilet paper are either too expensive for the average Venezuelan or simply out of stock. Out of stock, mind you, democratically. I know, some of you will say, well, that's not fair because really we knew all along it technically was a dictatorship. Okay, that's fair. Let's move on to example number two. Denmark? Okay, here's the time where you point to an entirely homogenous population about 1 60th the size of America's and you point to that as the blueprint. Okay, let's go there. This is a place where the middle class can't even afford a car because of the 180% new car tax. And the prime minister was so fed up with Americans pointing to it as a beacon for socialist success that he felt compelled to clarify, I would like to make one thing clear. Denmark is far from a socialist planned economy. Denmark is a market economy. Sweden? I love Sweden. Okay, great bikini team, and thanks to that country, my armor now doubles as a bookcase. Speaking of which, the founder of IKEA, let's be honest, the only really cool export from Sweden, aside from a few good hockey players, left Sweden because of the stifling high tax rate. So, Sweden, good place, not bad people, but a successful model for a viable economy in today's global market? Incorrect. The fact is that over time, the greatest enemy of socialism is reality. The reality that human nature will invariably pull certain people toward individualism and success and others toward laziness and collectivism. The tension between the makers and the takers always, always leads to socialism's inevitable collapse. But I know that I can give you examples of failed socialist economies until I'm blue in the face and you won't care. Because at least socialism is inherently more morally altruistic than the evil, greedy, capitalist warmongering seen in the West. Greed? What's more greedy than wanting to take from someone else something that you haven't earned? Unlike capitalism, free enterprise, which can only occur truly through voluntary transaction, socialism can only occur at gunpoint. That's what it comes down to. If you don't pay your taxes, once you get through the IRS and the auditing and the lawyers and the PR stunts, People make you give the government your money, an increasing amount of your money, the more successful you are, or they send in scary men with guns to take you away. Now, so long as the people having their stuff taken away at gunpoint are in the minority, and the majority feels that they'll get to benefit from more said taken stuff, you'll always be able to win that decision through a popular vote and claim the moral high ground through democracy. Putting the word Democratic in front of your socialism doesn't make it any inherently more moral, nor less violent. Did you get that? American wannabe socialists also. Get a job. Please, like a real job. You'll probably have to shave first. I'm Steven Crowder for Prager University. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To help keep our videos free, donate here.